Hi, my name is Yuhua Williams. I'm a professor of history, and here's what you need to know to sound smart about the Freedom Rides. The original Freedom Rides took place in 1947 and were part of the Journey of Reconciliation, which was sponsored by the Fellowship of Reconciliation and the Congress of Racial Equality. The Freedom Rides were inspired by two Supreme Court decisions, one in 1946 and one in 1960. In those two decisions, the United States Supreme Court ruled that segregation in interstate commerce was unconstitutional. The original Freedom Ride from 1947 was conceived of by activists George Hauser and Bayard Rustin and originally only included men. In 1961, when the Congress of Racial Equality resurrected the idea of a Freedom Ride, it would include both men and women in mixed interracial groups. The Freedom Riders encountered extreme violence as they began their journey through the South in an effort to ensure that the states were abiding by the Supreme Court's rulings. Shortly into the Freedom Rides, the Congress of Racial Equality decided to abandon the protests because of the violence that they were facing. The worst incidents of violence directed at the Freedom Riders took place in Anniston, Alabama, when the buses they were riding on were bombed. A new civil rights group called the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee actually took up the cause of the Freedom Rides after CORE dropped out. Television proved to be a great ally for the Freedom Riders. As Americans witnessed the brutality being visited on the riders, public opinion turned against Southern segregationists. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party. 